Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I took a bit of a week off because, of course, I got married uh, this past Friday. Um, couldn't really go out for a honeymoon or anything, but, uh, you know, we had our honeymoon at home. We spent some time together uh, until we can afford to actually go out and do an actual honeymoon. Um, so I, I had something that, you know, I, I've touched on these things before. And I might come off as I'm repeating myself and just kind of watching things that were going down um, with all the channels while I was gone um, had me thinking uh, actually quite a bit, um, to be honest with you. I, I, I've been thinking a lot. Um, and again, this might be this might sound like things I've already said before, um, but it's still true. You know, I can repeat myself a thousand times. Until the point gets across. So I've been watching some channels going down. Of course, Sovereign Soul, uh, which sucks. It really sucks. Um, you know, I, I I guess I understand, but I don't understand because uh, it just kind of shows what you can and cannot say on YouTube. And there's really no definition on what you can and cannot say. Some people get away with other, like bigger channels, they get away with things. More so than smaller channels. Uh, but still, you have to kind of watch yourself. You know, we watched the Chili's backup channel disappear. Disappeared. We don't know if he got it removed. He deleted it himself. We know that he's deleting comments. And he's going on this big uh, <laughs> exodus of comments and all this stuff. Deleting videos and all that. Uh, he does that to begin with. Um, and I'm guessing he's trying to cover himself. Uh, which is not a good idea. Um, we talk about spoilation. spoilation. Uh, can I can I say that right? Um, and he's doing just that. Um, so one of the things I was thinking. So so chili chili, and this is a chili video uh, by very ne definition, but it's also a First Amendment type thing. So chili, we all know the story. Chili came in. Uh, nobody in the actual auditing community has accepted him um, just because of what he tries to portray he thinks he's a much bigger than life individual and he's he, he he's reveling off this right um, he wants to be famous um, this is coming from a guy who maybe had some success in the past not much maybe small roles uh, here and there, uh, always wants to be in the limelight. This is the guy that has to hold the camera down to make himself look like he's 10 feet tall. He has to talk a big game, thinking he can whoop everybody, which, in fact, he would run away, especially from me, which he's kind of done that before. Uh, I mean, it's not the first person he's ever run away from Ashland from, especially when it comes to fighting. You know, I know I know he will say, I'll roll you around, uh, uh, I'm here in Ashland. I'm just saying. But anyways, he wants to be famous. He wants to be famous. And, you know, there's a lot of people that has that dream. Of course, I would love for my YouTube channel just to completely blow up and uh, be able to help all kinds of people. Uh, I feel like at my current growth, it's doing well. It's a little slow, but that's okay. Um, you know, this is a hobby to me. And this is fun to me. Because, A... I get to do something I like, and B, I get to help people. Um, you know, I, I get emails all the time uh, or great comments, which, by the way, guys, thank you so much for all the awesome comments. Uh, and I know there was, I you know, I was looking at the comments. I didn't get to reply individually to every single one. Um, I do plan on going through and taking a look at all of them. Um, you know, I've been trying to stay off my phone as much as I can uh, for this week. Um, but... I do reply, plan on coming back and taking a look at all these. And I got to see some of them. Some of them were from people that I know they dislike what I think. They don't dislike me. They just disagree with me. And, you know, we've had our trolling beefs in the past. But I thank you for for doing that. Um, and like I said, even if you hate me, I, I still love you, man. Or woman or uh, trans or I, I don't know. Whatever people are today. Um, <laughs> I, that actually sounds pretty awful. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I really appreciate all the kind words. I mean, you made uh, already special time even more special. But anyways, 
yeah, we all want to be famous somehow. We all, we, all of us wants our 15 minutes of fame. Chili's, that's all he wants. That's the only thing that matters to him. Money and fame. Um, now, this is, this is your poster child for midlife crisis gone completely wrong. Um, this is, this is a guy that's abusing the system and openly says he's abusing the system not to win. He thinks he might have a chance to win, which most likely, a hundred percent likely all this stuff is going to blow over and he's going to look like a big dumbass, which he already is. Um, you know, he is hurting people by trying to drain them of their money, which is nothing new from him. Uh, I mean, he already goes state to state going to help these people doing fundraisers. And ultimately, a lot of these people don't see the money to begin with. But yeah, he says there's no victims. And there are. There are plenty of victims. Tina Slay being one. You can say what you want, Chili, about Tina Slay not being a victim. But she is a victim. Um, I would almost consider Deborah as a victim, but Deborah seems to be completely out of control and still pretty stupid. Uh, oh, oh yeah, by the way, anything I say about these people is completely my opinion. I can't prove these things. Um, I just love the fact that I have the First Amendment and free speech. Well, First Amendment, free speech, fair use, all the same thing. Um, helping me. That's what I love. I love the fact that I can get on here and have an opinion on the internet. Um, but like I said, we have little tiny tyrants trying to um, stifle your free speech, which is very un-American and very, very, very beta. That's the equivalent of telling the teacher that I accidentally put bubblegum in your hair. Oops. I was dumb. I was a kindergartner. I put bubblegum in a kid's hair. Happens. Uh, but, you know, it's this nonsense. Basically, Chili is uh, the boy who cried wolf, and ultimately this is going to hurt him more than he thinks. Uh, there's a reason why Kate and Josh and him get the awesome support they do. People care about this thing. I, I didn't see a dime, really. You might have made a little bit of money on your little uh, <laughs> fundraiser. I don't know. I thought you was going to represent yourself. You're... You're the constitutional law scholar. Uh, I mean, come on, man. You're supposed to know all this stuff. You're supposed to be able to cover yourself because you know the law. And you don't. Uh, it's sad that you have actual lawyers coming in saying how big of a dunce cap you are. And by the way, you haven't, you have not copyright that yet. I, I figured you would copyright dunce cap and we don't stop, which... You can't. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, Chili, let's be honest here, man. Um, your days are kind of numbered. Uh, midlife crisis is, it hurts. I know people that's, you know, left their families, bought Camaros, and started uh, texting um, high school kids. Yeah, I, there's a person around here that I know. I'm not going to give any names because I don't want to. Uh, Somebody that I looked up to became an actual, actual CP. Uh, it, it's it's really bad. Maybe I can get into that one day. I don't want to blurt out this person until I know for a fact that it's 100% true. Um, right now, it's sitting at a good 98%, but I don't want to talk about it because, it, A, it's embarrassing because, um, you know, this is a person that you know, I looked up to back in the day and was a teacher. And some people make really stupid mistakes. Uh, some people deserve what they get. In this case, Chili is going to eventually learn that what he does does carry consequences. Um, you know, it might not be now, might not be uh, tomorrow, but one day it's going to backfire on you and it's not going to be good. Uh, and I, you know, a part of me believes that, uh, you started out maybe, uh, doing this. I, you know, it's, it's sad to me to look that most videos you have, um, you know, they get more dislikes than they do likes. You have almost 50,000 followers, yet you can barely hold 200, 300 people 
on a live stream now i know you're looking at me like look at you your numbers dude i don't care I, this is a hobby for me um you know i've been on the game for 10 years and i know you might say that's pathetic but you know i'm not all about numbers and getting famous and stuff like that i'm not about buying uh people or buying subscribers allegedly i can't prove that can't prove that it's just what i think uh just my opinion um, but it makes sense if you take a look at it. That does look like that's what's going on. Um, you know, him going after all these people saying he's going to sue uh, him, her, they, whatever. Um, you know, you talk talk big. You say you're this big alpha, but here you are doing these stupid things. That's not alpha. That's not. That doesn't make you a leader just because you put a pen and paper and say, I'm going to sue you. That makes you a pussy, like a giant one. Um, and that's kind of sad. Um, so here's the thing. You're famous. You're famous now. Uh, people know you. People know what you... You're not the famous you want to be. Um, sometimes when you wish wish on things sometimes it's best to think what would happen if it finally happens that's not even how to say it uh what's what's the fucking saying you might regret your wishes is that is that it i am so out of it so stupid <laughs> sometimes things uh don't turn out the way you want them to do right you're going to be famous but not in the way you want to be famous there we go there we go. Still not the same thing I wanted to say, but that is part of it. Um, yeah, but you're famous. You're famous now. But not in the way you expected. You have people that know your name that make videos about you. And I'm guilty of this. I make videos about you. A lot of people make videos about you. And you're kind of, kind of right. Some, you know, when people talk about you, people go to those videos and they watch them. Because they like to see people going after a tiny tyrant. Uh, people can see right through you, man. Like, it's it's easy. Um, you know, and this is the reason why I still make content about you. Because you keep on doing stupid things. And, you know, people want to know my opinion about it. Eventually, the well is going to dry up. And I still have some really good people that's following me. And I know, like, you know, I do like the videos. Like, some videos that get smaller views. That's okay. That's okay. It's, to me, that's still success. Um, but anyways, anyways, before I keep on going, um, yeah, you're famous. You that you got what you wished, right? You got exactly what you asked for. People know you now. Now you call yourself a controversial figure. Eh, I mean, slightly. You're not. You're not. You're not all there, man. I'm just not. You know, I myself would suggest mental health counseling. Um, you know, I've offered my help. Uh, and the only thing you do is like, oh, you're a crazy person that is out of shape. Perfect. A piece of shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I am out of shape and I am a mental person. Um, it is what it is. I know my flaws. And that's one of them. That's two of them. Uh, at least I'm willing to admit my flaws. I'm not hiding behind uh, this facade, this pretty boy uh, constitutional facade. You're 50 years old. You're dying your hair. You're wearing a faux hawk, and you're 50. 50 year old guys don't wear faux hawks. You know, I used to wear a faux hawk all the time. You don't see me doing that. I did on my wedding because that's just how it is. If you take a look back in the day, like all my old pictures and stuff, you know, I would wear like spiked hair faux hawk and you know i know you're trying to stay young forever young you want to be f fuck you uh chili um <laughs> yeah so anyways before i keep on rambling and i know this is rambling um you, you did your job you're famous now um your litigations are failing you say you're winning you're not winning you keep on deleting your comments, your videos. I kind of feel like maybe you deleted your channel. Uh, you're trying to sue YouTube, trying to sue everybody on Discord, any channel members. Dude, that's not how things work. Um, your track record's pretty bad. Pretty bad. You, you said yourself you've never done this before. 
So maybe you should have, you should have worked a little bit on this before you just dived right in. Either way, you wasn't going to win in, you know, and in the court of public opinion, uh, you've lost. Now you can say you won all you want, but you didn't. You, you haven't won anything. Um, you're falling behind. Your channel's dying. Uh, you say you're successful, but here you are. You know, and I feel bad for people that have to go couch to couch or go without meals. And I hope that's not the case for you. I hope you're able to at least eat something and drink something and have a warm place to stay. It's not fun being homeless. It's not. You know, I've slept in my car a few times. I've slept on shop concrete floors um, a couple times. You know, I've, I've done that. You know, it's not fun. Not fun at all. Um, you know, but here I am, I'm, you know, I'm better off now than I was, you know, even three or four years ago. Um, and it's great. And I, you know, I, I hope, I hope for your sake, I hope that you can do something that's truly going to make you happy and successful. This is not the way, this is not the way, um, you trying to stifle freedom of speech is not the way, not the way this is, I've been in the YouTube game long enough and I've seen a lot of this happen and always ends up the same way you are not the outlier you are not the exception you're not the game changer this will fail this will fail this will come to pass and where will that lead you there's not a place left to go except for down and hopefully in your case once you reach the bottom you can climb yourself back onto the top and get yourself fixed this is not the way to do it not the way and yeah so guys thank you so much for watching definitely appreciate it um feel free if you haven't already let's hit that follow button hit that subscribe button let's hit 3,000 followers by the end of the year maybe we're we're getting there we're getting there we're, we're getting pretty close uh let's do that if we don't hit it we don't hit it it is what it is you know, i used to be fixated on numbers i and i try not to be but sometimes you know you watch things go you watch things move it's exciting it really is and uh, but the worst thing in the world to do is just look at numbers and be like hey fuck, dude uh, i'm not doing exactly as well as i thought but anyways i love you guys very much thank you so much for the wedding comments i will be making more content here soon i love you very much and i'll see you soon